Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dion. We start here with Chapstick. I just did this day space for another video. I don't know when it's going to be uploaded though. But, so we're reapplying the Chapstick. We already had one. This is the Crazy Troll Nation and the concept of the Crazy Troll Nation is crazy, having fun on your channel, just doing what you do, having fun enjoying watching the other channels that you do watch. The troll part is not caring too much about what the beauty community standards of beauty are. Here it is about self-acceptance, self-love, embracing your natural features, enhancing them if you want to, but not because you feel like you have to. Don't let the community have you feeling like you need to use a certain brand or a certain tool or even do a certain technique. Do what you want to do, use what you want to use to have your makeup the way you want it. And because you want to, not because you feel like you have to because of what somebody else says. That is the concept of the Crazy Troll Nation. This is what else you'll see here. Just want to let y'all know this eye is going to start tearing while i was blending up my eye primer the brush hit my eyeball yeah i did just prime my eye duh because i just said when i was blending out the primer okay that's part of the crazy too i just be seeing stuff lower lash line we're going to use nyx retractable eyeliner in gold we're going to put this here this video i do think i'm going to do another look or two this is my first time using this palette. You see from the title what it is. And this collab is with none other than, well, either Smiley Shani or her doppelganger, depending on <laughs> which one of her does the video. And so that's kind of like my own little running joke when she did some videos not in her natural hair. And I was like, okay, I accept you being her doppelganger and all, but when is Shani coming back? She had posted those on her Instagram, which I will try to remember to post below. And we've done collabs before, and those can be found in my collab playlist. I have a playlist for just about every freaking thing I do on here to make it easy for you to find what you want to find and to watch what you want to watch and to avoid the shenanigans you don't want to see. Yeah, this has started already. I've seen this palette, the Nomad Cartagena. I know I said it wrong. I don't have the accent for it. And from what I've seen, like looking at videos and the pictures online, it, it looked a little deeper. It is warm tone, but it looked a little warmer. And I never purchased it because I don't like myself in light shades. I don't like me in pastelish type shades. Usually they make me look ashy. I think they make me look ashy or dusty. Other people say they don't. And I do like those looks that I do with those tones. It's just not my preference for myself. And so this was in BoxyCharm. I think it was like it was less I don't even want to say what it was but I do know it was less than $20 it might have been like $12 or something I don't remember don't quote me on that and so I said you know what I will try it I do love Nomad's formula and for that price I said we'll just see what it does and so Shandy and I are doing a collab because she didn't have this palette either so I'm like oh you want to do a collab and she did mention a while ago we were overdue for another one so I'm like just say when sister friend girl like what's happening and so what I'm going to do for this look, I'm going to use this row. And my plan is to do a, a look with this row and with this row and then start mixing it up. And because I think these two rows would suit me best because they have deeper shades than this side of the palette. But I just want to see what it's going to do. And the names are not in English. Uh... So I'm just going to tell you now what we're going to do. This shade, first half of the lid. This shade, second half of the lid. This one, we're going to top this. This shade, we're going to top this. So we're going to layer. This we're going to do outer corner. So that's what we're going to do. The brushes we're going to use, hourglass number three for our lid shades. For the shimmers that we're going to use for toppers, sponge tip applicator. For outer corner and transition, we're going to use Esom V33 brush. That's what the plan is. So we're going in with that first shade. That's what that is looking like. And we're just going to start 
putting that here. And the reason also that I'm topping or that I'm going to top it is because this is what I thought it was going to look like. To me, th this is what I call ashy. This is what I call dusty. For those of you who may think of that term differently, I'll just say it that way. And you can see my lid discoloration through it because it is a light shade. I'm going to edit out doing this on the other eye. We're going to turn the brush over and go into that center shade. And we're going to pop that here. Now this one, um, <laughs> my initial reaction was this one I can rock with, but it still looks really light, even though it's bold at the same time. We're going to flip back to the first side and we're going to sweep back and forth to blend which may not be necessary switching back to the side that has this color on it it seems to be almost like a yellowish green I'm going to edit out doing the same thing on the other eye we're going to take that first shimmer shade which is the second shade in the top row and I am let me I just drop my brush and so I'm swirling it that's how I'm picking it up or you can just swipe it but that is what that looks like and we are going to top that first shape that changed it to a different color because now it looks bluish well I guess it's like a I don't know like a really pale blue here um, wow hmm I should have, you know what, that's what it looks like. So it's kind of not there, but then it's there depending on how the light hits it. I like this shade as a topper, because if I just put this on the lid, it would be barely there, but just a little bit of shine, which is not a bad thing if you like shine, if you like shimmer, shimmer. The looks I've seen, Andy does stuff, um, has quite a few looks with this palette. And that's what made me start thinking, like, I might like that for myself. But then we are different complexions and have different undertones, too. That looks completely different. All right, I'm going to edit out doing the same thing on the other eye. And I am going to bring this down to my tear duct area. I did not add more on the brush. I I like this. Not my preference because it's not, you know, deep, dark, smoky, grungy or anything, but I'm digging it. We're going to flip over, not to this side, but just to a completely clean side and go into the fourth shade in the top row. And we're going to top this shade over here. Hmm. Hmm. This is this one that's pretty but on my bare skin as you see it does just give it a glow my skin eats it look at that where'd it go oh here it is so i am going to just overlap a little bit um hmm, i'm gonna do the same thing the other side i'm gonna edit that out I'm not going to say it's not what I was expecting because I didn't have any expectations except that the shades were going to be light, especially this top row. And so really in a way it's an experiment. So thank you Shani for experimenting with me with this palette. And we're not the same complexion either so I'm really curious to see how these shades show up on her. And our looks were just do whatever we wanted to do. We didn't do a palette bingo, we didn't pick shades. And because I just wanted to see what stuff would look like, I'm like, I'm going to just go by rose because y'all know I just be trying to do too much. So we're going to take one of the Isom V33 brushes and we're going to tap into that last shade in that top row. And we're going to start here. And then we're going to bring it over. I like the look. I like what the shimmers are doing. I don't like it for me, for myself. 
And so I'll put it that way because I know a lot of people, I think it might be a, an even mix between those who like dark, smoky, grungy, deep shades and those who like the softer everyday, just a little bit of shimmer and you know, these types of tones. And so I don't want to be like, oh my gosh, it's hideous because I don't think it's hideous. It's just not my preference. And again, this is why I didn't purchase it from the Nomad website, um, which I do have a 10% off code. It's not affiliated, meaning I don't make any money off of it, but it's just for you to save yourself some money. If this is your type of color story, you know, go for it. It's not limited edition. They do have a, um, I think they're having um, holiday sales coming up for Black Friday. So do I like the look? Yes. Do I like it for myself? No. I do like what this shimmer did topping that first shade. I like what this second shimmer did topping that one. I'm liking this transition shade. I'm liking how that shows up on its own. And I'm liking how it's blending in. Um, so I will just leave that there. You know, we're going to take that transition shade. So we're going to put this here and then we're going to go back to the brush we use for it in our transition area. And we're going to just buff it. I did not add extra shadow on the brush. So this is what we're going to do with that. I think I want to take that second transition shade. I mean, the second lid shade that we topped it with. I'm going to put that on here and we're going to put this under here just halfway over. You know what? Let's just go all the way over. Let's just do it. I'm going to take this brush again and just buff it. I did not put any extra shadow on this brush. So this is the look except I'm going to edit out putting on liner and mascara. Hmm. So again, this was this top row. First half of the lid, second half of the lid, top the first half of the lid, top the second half of the lid, transition shade and lower lash line, and top this on lower lash line. So that's what we did. And this is what that all looks like. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna wipe off a little bit of plastic. And we're gonna put on the Kismet gloss. And I think it's the plumping one, but it doesn't, it tangles for like 10 seconds. And it is a there, not there color, which I think, ah, uh, will be nice for this look since it is such a kind of there, not there kind of look. Hmm. <laughs> See what I'm saying? So this is what we got. Let me know what you think. Thank you, Shani, for this collab and, oh, eyeliner. Look at my wings. And they're not completely eaten up. They got away from me. They were smaller, but they decided they wanted to go to elementary school and get out of kindergarten. But this is the Flinty, Flinty, the Fenty Fly Liner in Envy Truffle. And mascara, I used the L'Oreal Paris Double Extend Beauty Tubes Mascara. One side is the primer, one side is the mascara. And you just saw what I did to the lips. Let me know about this look. Again, I do like it. It's just not my preference for myself. Yeah, so we're going to go. If you're here from Shani's channel, hang tight. Stuff will pop up for you to watch. If you're here first... Go check her out. You will love her. She's hilarious. She does amazing looks. Um, I am loving her doing her makeup from work videos because you get to see like the whole get ready with me for her day, which is really nice. And again, her Instagram will be down below. She posts pics and other stuff on her Instagram channel. But do please check her out. Y'all, her personality, she is just so freaking hilarious. She is. And she's so just... Like, she doesn't try to be. She just is. The way she says stuff and her facial expressions and just her mannerisms. Yeah, so do check her out. And, yeah, thanks for being here. And you will see me in the next video.